It is the third day of April 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Raithina Sijan here. We look at stories making headlines across the country and we kick start off with this bulletin from Dokoro district. The district woman MP Cecilia Ogwal has uploaded President Yoram Seveni for honoring her request to open two schools two girls' schools in the district. She says she asked for one school, but President Museven gave her two. This was during the handover of 46 blankets and 92 bedsheets donated by community by the community of Dokor North to Agwata Health Center too. Ogwa also thanked the president for tarmacking sorority Dokor Lira Road, which she believes is the best in the country. MP Ogwal subscribes to a main opposition party forum for democratic change and is one of the commissioners of the 10th parliament. She said she would not avoid thanking President Museveni because of the two important projects. Domestic items which included 46 blankets and 92 bed sheets were handed over to the in charge of the health unit Tom Okello by the team led by Professor Constance Okello Obra of the College of Computing and Information science at Makere University. Bad news coming in from Kamuli District. Three children have been reported dead from measles and a total of 197 cases have been so far recorded in the district. District Health Officer Dr. Agri Vatesaki explained that measles is prevalent in Busoga sub-region, adding that in addition two Kamuli cases have been reported in Buyende, Luka, Iganga, Jinja and Kaliro districts. Speaking to the media on Friday, Dr. Batisaki explained that the 197 cases in Kamuli have been recorded in health center twos and threes, adding that cases registered in private facilities have not been included. He added that the health teams in the affected districts are working round the clock to put in place control measures by availing the required drugs to health facilities across the health centers and organizing a fresh mass immunization schedule to be supported by the REITS EC, a health oriented organization powered by USAID. Before we move on to other stories making headlines across the country, let us look at what is making headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. And the headlining story today is over 3,600 circles declared illegal. Also in the new vision, 59-year-old loses two babies over oxygen. More stories from the new vision today. Uh, we have an obituary remembering Winnie Mandela. Winnie Mandela was the ex-wife to Nelson Mandela, and she has died at the age of 81. Also in the new vision today, we have the oil and gas journal. This comes out every Tuesday. And the headlining story is oil logistics, how ready is Uganda? We have those details and more stories on oil and gas. So grab your copy at only 2,000 shillings and get these details for you. Uh, also, every Tuesday we have Her Vision and the headlining story in Her Vision is female artists advised on professionalism. Yeah, we have a very detailed story here. We have more in her vision, build success with self-esteem. We have those professionals advising, expert opinion, and more in her vision. In her vision. Uh, from the sports docket, uh, all set, uh, Commonwealth Games live on uh, SS5. Yeah, we have those, uh, the Commonwealth Games being showed live on various TV channels. Um, also in the sports docket, we have Our Future So Bright, Says Wekesa. Yeah, we have those stories and more. Yeah, we have, we have, we have so many stories from the sto uh, sports docket. So grab your copy of the new vision at only 2,000 shillings. And remember, we are the leading daily. Away from stories making headlines in today's copy of the New Vision, let's look at what is making headlines across the country. And we move on to Mayuge District. Three people were killed and two others injured when lightning struck during a heavy downpour 
in Bokasera village, Bokatube sub-county, Mayugwe district on Sunday. The police identify the deceased as Muniru Dembele, 14 years, Rashid Mutebe, 27 years, and Ronald Okwara, 16 years. Moses Kato, the Elson chairperson, said five people were struck by lightning as they took shelter at Ohudi Annex Primary School. He said three died on the spot while the others were rushed to Panakaras Medical Center in Mayuga town. Yoana Musana, a resident, said the men were from cutting sugarcane in the nearby sugarcane plantation and had taken shelter in the school following a downpour. The residents asked the government to install lightning conductors in schools, hospitals and public places to save lives. Finally, from Wakiso District, the Speaker Simon Isuga has banned a councillor from participating in council sittings indefinitely after he refused to apologize. Ronald Kastidivu, the Democratic Party councillor representing Gombe Sub County, was last Thursday sent out of the council sitting after rejecting the Speaker's repeated calls to apologize to the council. Councillors had tabled a motion demanding that Kassiliv apologizes for misconduct during a session in February where he bragged, where he grabbed a microphone from a colleague, Joseph Wichamze from Entebbe B. The petitioner said it was unbecoming of a councillor to grab a microphone and run with it, which turned the council into a market. Yes, and that's all I had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video.